What's up guys, it's your boy Pete and welcome back to Planting with Pete. Now, if you're new here, this channel consists of almost everything houseplant related. That tickets your fancy. Hit that subscribe button, sit back, and hey, catch it. And you just enjoy this same video. Alright guys, on today's video, oh, okay, that hurts, buddy, that hurts. Okay, someone wants attention. Alright, okay, baby, I'm here. Yeah, I love you too. Alright guys, on today's video, we are doing my... For the second time, uh, my 2024 houseplant tour. My 2024 house. Did I say 2024 tour? Hmm. Today's video, you guys, we are doing the houseplant tour of 2024. Now, um, I did go back and check, guys. I haven't did a houseplant tour in like two years. After doing the first one, I see why I don't like doing those. But, however, um. I was asked by a couple of you guys when I was going, he is attention warning. Do you see this? He is attention wanting right now. Um, some of you guys have asked for one and I had one done prior if you've seen that one already. But the audio, something is going on, I don't know. So I said, you know what, let's go ahead and redo it. And then also, I'm kind of procrastinating because I have an issue out in the cave that you will hear about. It should be in the video after this one. Yeah, it's a just matter of fact. I think it's been like two days, you guys. So whatever you're seeing is just about the same, except I picked up some stuff. But you'll see it. But today we are going to cover the cavern in here. If you don't know, I call this my cavern. My cave is on the outside. Now we're talking. I have more. I was thinking like, do I have more plants in here, or do I have more plants out there? I know I have more plants out there um, compared to in here, but space-wise, or loose pots, well, that, that's not even a quote. I do have loose pots. Um, yeah, it definitely is way under than compared to out there, but there's way more plants in there. But in this here little square foot, which is my error wall, if you don't know, I will try to link the video. Remember to link the video, you guys, for this error wall. Remember, we... I put it together in September of 2023, if I'm not mistaken, August, September. No, I put it together in August of 2023, and we put it together, together, the plants and stuff, we finished it together, and set up, I think, in September, excuse me, 2023. So, it hasn't quite been a year yet, but it's coming up to it. Everything is everything, and I may have lost five or six plants, but I'm pretty, it's, I mean, I have duplicates up here. So most of the time as they grow, I do cut and either put it in my shop or um, I just place them back in there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, what I'm going to do, I might just, yeah, we're going to start how I started the last time. Um, I am missing one, <laughs> if you're watching this again, I am missing one plant and that is the Sansevieria, or I think they reclassified to a Jacina, Dracaena, one of those things, Sansevieria, yeah. snake plant, yeah. Um, I gave it to my neighbor, so it's no longer in the picture, so everything else is technically literally still the same. I'm not mistaken, I moved around some things, but um, you will definitely see those in the next video as well. Yeah, because they're, we're doing a little project with those, but yeah, let's go ahead and run through this. We're going to try to just try, alright? Alright, buddy, I need to get up and um, do I? Yeah. Let me, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the plants that I do have around the TV here. 
Now these are just here because I, well they look fine where they are and then also these are not the high, well, how about this? These plants are here because I know for a fact that growing them out or just growing them, they won't just give me a headache. Um, they won't look splingly, kind of like a philodendron with low light. Um, so this will basically be a low light situation. The only light is really getting is the light that is on my north facing window, which sucks, you know. Um, and then also some of the reflectant light from, as you can see, or maybe not from um, my top lights here, but uh, from the grow lights up there. But <clears throat> so they don't give me any issues just sitting here. Um, you know, like your ZZs that have some snake plants as well. But let's go ahead and get started. Like I did mention, the other um, snake plant that used to be there is not there anymore. Now, right here, you guys, we have my chameleon ZZ. There's no chameleon in here. Uh, my goal is to get this to look how it used to look. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to. This camera. I don't know, but there. How about this? How about this? There it is. Alright, somewhere. If the thing, a thing, right? There it goes. Yeah, anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put outside blaster with a little light. I don't know. I have to see how much hours of full sun is out there. Um, but we're going to stick it on the front porch. We're going to do a little whatnot situation with it. Um, yeah, I did mention it already, but yeah, Raven ZZ, not Raven, Chameleon ZZ. Yeah, you know, at this point, she's just a green. I don't know, do they revert? Do anybody know? I don't know. But yeah, she sits there. Um, the rat cross from her, we have <laughs> one of my originals, which is the Raven ZZ. She's way older than what she looks. So we haven't had any new spikes in forever. She doesn't need to be watered and or repotted. So. I'm not sure what the issue is, but she's going to go outside as well. We're going to blast these things with some light um, and see what happens. I don't know, because sometimes she'll give out a leaf thingy and just stop, you know. Even though when I did get her, you guys, I got her on sale. And this was when these were like the it plants. And it was like this and the maculata was the it plant that year. And it was like super crazy hard to find. And I found one at Home Depot. And it was like, um, it was going, I think she was going to throw it out or something. And I asked her to sell it to me anyway. And she did. Super cheap. Good. But, yeah. And I just bought her and kept it moving. Now, this one here um, is definitely going to go outside. This is my San Severa Moonshine. Um, if you don't remember, I got this from, why would I want to say always? I got this from Johnson's Nursery here. Um, I went there to get this here plant initially and I also found some <laughs> of course got some more but um, I think that trip also I went and got some of that um, sim whatever the stuff to kill insects with but anyway um, when I got her she was already protruding out the pot you guys I think I can pick up yeah she was already protruding out the pot not out the pot but you know what plants or like trees or anything basically in nature um i don't want to say they can't be contained but if there's enough leeway they're going to push and pull but anyway um she was protruding out the side of the pot and of course i knew she didn't need it to be repotted so i separated the mother from the daughter which is this one and uh put her back in the same soil and of course we have um, a baby coming in and what i learned or red rather that you have to have these in some bright light to keep the moon in to the shining and I have seen some of these in some greenhouses where they're almost I don't know like the inside of this is just about a white color yeah just freaking gorgeous I wonder do they have a um, what if they have a silver can I just sit this right here yeah what if they have like a, I want to know if they have a silver sense of I would probably lose my marbles like silver, you guys. I would lose my marble. All right, the next one we have is this the starfish San Severa? Yeah, it's either the ninja star or the starfish San Severa, you guys. Very easy going plant. Again, nothing really bad I can say about her. She's produced a lot, of course. I can, well, I can say, of course. Well, technically, if you look at these, 
of course the thicker one is the mother um, she shot off I don't know how many pups at this here point I separated a lot and since then um, she's still sending out like this is the newest one where are we yeah there we go this is the newest one there so she's growing down in here my goal my sense of is to get them to bloom with a lot of my other um, cacti and succulent type plants to get them to bloom without technically being stressed out um, I've seen these here bloom, I think, not in person, but on Instagram for the first time. And I, well, I knew, well, I didn't know snake plants bloom until I seen the flower. But, yeah, we're going to figure it out. And I'm shaking it, and yeah, I tell you these are the babies. Because they're not even, um, yeah, you can tell the difference. Wait, there we go. Yeah, let me not do that. But, yeah. <laughs> um, Starfish Sansevera. And again, these sit... Um, some of them sit right here. If you're wondering, this is the prop tank or the store tank, rather, where a lot of my uh, plants go before they, they get sold. But anyway, this here next plant is the Sansevera well fin. There was another one, but I took it out. I gave it to my aunt. Um, she's on her plant journey, so she should enjoy that. But yeah, she's growing. She's only gave me one pup <laughs> since I got her last year, and I paid $23.99. This is when I went to, yeah, I don't even Augusta, Albany, wherever I went, where they had like just <laughs> good nurseries, just all in one spot. It was just crazy. But um, my birthday is coming up again this year, and I'm wondering which direction I want to try to go, like down towards the Florida area. But I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just going to lose my marbles. You run across, and then it's like you're not just going to go to one greenhouse or one nursery, you know? And it's, it's a lot. It is a lot. But welfare in Sansevera, again, no one is getting great lighting over here, but it's enough light to keep them alive. And I would say stable because they don't grow super fast, so you technically wouldn't know. But you're, um, we're definitely going to see those again. Now, what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to switch over to my, um, well, no, I can move these two right here. All right, let's start here. Can you see her? Yeah. All right, so this here um, is another duplicate, but if you remember, inside of the cave outside, um, I used to have, <clears throat> excuse me, lemon limes and my red maranta lining my pole. I'm um, trying not to hit the fans on, trying not to tear it up, or you, you can see it. Um, hit my palm, hit my palm, around my palm. And this is one of the ones that actually looked that good that we kept. Was it one? We kept two. We kept them, well, I kept this one, and then I placed the other two bad looking ones um, out on the front porch. But yeah, this is her, this is she. And again, we need to get some of these here. This is, I mean, it's not a lot, it was just one little piece. But, uh, yeah, this is her. Let's see, she sits there. I don't know. You know, she's growing. There's new growth. New straws are starting to open. So I'm not really worried about her. I mean, it's growing season. So, yeah. And like I said, there's tons of new shoots that have popped up since me bringing her in and actually caring for her. And right down the lower, we have my, if you guys remember, same birthday trip last year. I got this here, Mikan's. Like, she's wonderful. Now, she would be sitting here cascading down. Um, but, however, she's on the second shelf because I don't have nowhere to put that Maranta. At least not yet. Um, but, anywho, um, we got her last year. So, she'll be a year with us um, coming up May 14th. And, um, yeah. And I can tell you now, this pot is <laughs> entirely too small for her because there's like a... <laughs> three miles of vines and roots wrapped down in this here thing. I didn't want to get rid of her and, and I also didn't want to be dealing with that crazy root system but she used to have some huge leaves. Those are nice size there. Some of them still are on but most of them have left and she also grew outside if you remember inside the cave. Wonderful but of course I started to move things around Things change, you know, like in nature, things change. So, this is her, this is she, in all her glory. I'm trying to see, can I get it all in the frame some type of way? Is that it? Yeah. And then all, a lot of these are curled back up as well, but 
Philodendron Mikings, a nice easy going plant. Um, a nice trailing plant too as you can see. If you don't want anything, I see something yellow. Is that a new leaf? Oh, that's a new leaf. Um, if you don't want anything crazy growing, even, even though, depending on how many vines you do have, it's kind of crazy, huh? Hmm. Easy going plant, rather. Um, get you a Mikings. If you're not trying to get the huge type leaves, then I wouldn't worry about them climbing. Just leave them, leave them as a trailing plant, um, as I did, but I also <laughs> had them climbing as well. So this is why I would prefer them trailing since I've already been through the climbing stage. But Philodendron Mikings, and she sits here. Now what I'm going to do, there we go. Now what I'm going to do, you guys, is turn the camera around and we can, I'll go this way this time. Yeah, let's go this way this time. Let's pause this. All right, guys, we're going to start over here. I'm going to have my hand held now, so this should be hopefully a lot better. All right, over here, we're hanging down here. Um, it's by Anthurium Freddy. Um, Freddy Retria. Of course, I have the names on the screen. Not going to butcher, but um, yeah, she's growing, I would say, okay. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, she's growing okay. Um, this leaf came out in here. Now, they all used to sit out in the cave, which you guys will see eventually in an, um, uh, in its hold in a another house to plant tour but um uh, yeah she grew out there for a while then i decided to bring some of my pendant anthuriums in here um she put out this leaf in here and then she's also working on another one as well that should unfurl but then maybe i'll give her maybe about two weeks um she's been moving but fairly slow again she's working with the reflecting lights up there hey me um yeah the next plant right here we have uh, i would say one of my favorite anthuriums probably one of the, uh, i can't say the best let's say the best strappy leaf at least until the politiform catches up um this is the gladiflorium anthurium wonderful easy going plant you guys if you're into that strappy leaf look like i am that is like freaking gorgeous like come on I'm trying to the camera is <laughs> cutting off what little light that she's giving off but this is strap is every bit of a foot or so long I'm not sure actually this is the length of it guys but uh, there we go she's gorgeous nice little sheen to her as well all right right next to her we have the philodendron maywi aka mayonnaise um, she was grown out in the cave as well guys you're wondering a lot of my plants that I do have and grow, I have grew from a cutting. So um, I take joy and pride of a lot of my plants. But she stayed out there for a while. I started crying. <laughs> I started getting more plants and I had to figure some things out. And the only light that she's getting, again, is that same reflecting light. And as you can see, I have that panel pushed towards this way. So get a little bit more light. You feel me? But. Um, all this was grown out in the cave and the rest of this up here was grown um, in the inside and I'm kind of shocked because even though she is not as big of a leaf as the rest look at that come on gorgeous and she's working on another leaf and as you can see she grew off the plank I'm gonna just let her chill you know yeah Right next to that, we have an empty macrame. We're going to figure something out. You know, more than likely, I'm going to take this down and put um, whoa, fan is on. I was going to tear my whole face up. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to put another strappy leaf in theory in there. All right, and right next to it, I guess we can go ahead and get Big Mama out the way. A lot of you guys should know this one. It's the in, ooh, not in theory, man. The philodendron jungle boogie. I just love this here plant. I think we have a spiel about the golden dragon, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if I ate one six that footage. That means chopped it, you guys. Um, but, anywho, um, Jungle Boogie, she's doing good. No issues, no problems. Um, other than me, it would be a problem. Um, probably since the last video, since the last time, well, since the last time, 
How does nice it is? Uh, the 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 other grow plant tour that I just did. Um, this wasn't out yet, but she's out. She's now I know when she's going to unfurl because one of these little strips will start to come off. Um, and then guess what she's doing again? Whoa! It's on this side. Anyway, as you can see it, not this spike, another flower. So I don't know if I want to collect the pollen on that or not however yeah she's flowering again she's just enjoying her good old self but yeah philodendron jungle boogie all right before we tackle the wall we're going to go over here and get the rest of these babies whoa sorry about that all right <laughs> i love introducing this here plant <laughs> all right Right in front of my big cock, we have my mistletoe cactus. Um, again, like I said about my cyclics and cactus, I, cactuses, cactus, I, I don't know why I wanted to say cactus, I, but my other cactus and things, I want to get these to bloom. Um, I haven't had, honestly had any issues out of her. I think I, yeah, more, I'm pretty sure you guys seen this one already. You can see a lot of them shooting towards the light, but everything from the bottom of this here pot down is grown by pita um of course there are some new shoots and things can we get up in there can we get up in there yeah she's a full-headed girl she's doing her thing um yeah rip salads mistletoe i love this here plant yeah it's, it's like one of those it don't make any type of sense type of plants you know it's one of those ones you have to explain to people is that a plant yeah it's a plant one of those but yeah rip salads right next to that we have hanging here as a new addition to at least this spot <laughs> rather is my philodendron heteracium variegata a variegated hartley philodendron should i just step up here yeah let's get up here let's get up in here y'all tighten it up there we go gorgeous she is freaking gorgeous that only thing i i can say negative about this here plant is what i did is this and I want to get her something to I don't I'm pretty sure I threw it away the, what is that the catch tray yeah so now I definitely have to keep more eye on her uh, if you're wondering she's in my dirty sphagnum moss mixture in there whoa sorry about that so yeah she dries out and I have to keep an eye on her but all in all you guys we did cut her up I had her climbing the leaves were quite big um, but at one point I just said well hey I had to make some decisions and try to get some newer plants in and we made a decision I wanted to get her the trail I already had her climbing I seen what it was like and yeah and you will hear about this plant again on the grow wall and yeah let's move on to this little shelf or rack here now <laughs> if you're watching this again there's one thing that has changed from over here but we'll talk about that once we get into it. All right, top plant. We have, you remember, she grew out in the cave. She was massive. I mean, she still is massive. But I let her grow and trail and do it with the crap she wanted to do. I brought her out. Um, we had a little hiccups. You know, she was feeling a little ill. Ill will because she wasn't in there. So I had to get her back together. But this is the philodendron. Um, here to raise them lemon lime. A wonderful plant you guys if you give it enough light the newer growth this is a good leaf the camera's not gonna pick it up is it no it's not but as you can see half of this leaf is getting some light so this part here is way redder than that one but I can come up here for you guys um, as you can see yeah a lot redder comes in way redder than that uh, when they were growing up under my spider farmer lights I'm telling you these things were blasted <laughs> it was a pretty freaking color red just about fire red it was gorgeous you guys but you give these things enough light the newer growth comes in that um, red color fades into like yellow neon ish 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 and then eventually it gets like a sort of pea green I would say whatever but nice plant to have in your collection if you would like a nice trailing plant 
and as you can see there's like crazy there's growth everywhere with her and as you can see they're trying to latch themselves onto the wall and I guess I'm going to let them do it all right right next to <laughs> if you've been following me you know about her we chopped her um, these are one of the months my monsteros have this thing with thrips they just it's just like this symbiotic relationship it's like thrips only really well, I can't say but they mostly really like my monstera so long story short I wanted to get rid of her I cut her all up to get rid of her and then I watched her grow back so pretty again and I just kept it um, and that is why we went and got um, some stuff for thrips forgot what it's called you guys but um, yeah she's been growing here ever since no problems just a wonderful little plant, Monstera Peru. Gorgeous and of course grown in Dirty Sphagnum. Right next to it we have the Epiprimnum Mandula. I do love this here plant. Um, this plant was given to me as a gift. She's sizing up. Yeah, she's sizing up. I guess she feels like she's growing or attaching onto something. Those leaves are getting pretty big. Um, we still have this one piece that's trying its best to do what it needs to do. Um, I said I'm not going to bother it. Just keep it moist. And hopefully um, it'll refill itself back out there's I think three maybe two plants if you guys remember that's in there um, I haven't started to feed them yet I will feed them I think this week if I'm not mistaken yes they're time for watering so she's everybody in here is gonna get a feeding and it's gonna be interesting no I may not feed this wall because <laughs> I don't want it to, nope um, but all my grounded plants are definitely getting a good feed this week all right down below her we have the synapsis moonlight I said they were pure confidence um yeah synapsis moonlight now I love this here plant of course because of the blue if you've been following me then you know that um, I can grow these things out pretty good um, it's just like with a lot of the other vining plants, you just need to work with the root system. A lot of my plants, you hear me say, uh, I don't really too much care about the foliage in the beginning, even though it's good to look at. I mostly want to get my root system together. So kind of like this in Peru, if I need to do a chop back, I know for a fact my root system is very healthy, very thick and pristine condition. So when it's time to grow, try to gonna grow and she's going to do way more than grow. She's going to show her eyes. And that's what I need to see if I ever need to do a major chop back and I don't want to have to deal with like props and things so um, yeah but well basically you just in the beginning you just wrap your roots around and let these nodes and those area roots hit the dirt or the soil and you can build your root system and just keep the new growth pruned until it shoots off and I'm tell you those leaves stay real big you still get the same big leaves like this um, that you get when you purchase them but yeah nice plants and that's moonlight um, this is a newer addition over here to this area she needs a cash pro yeah um, this is my Hoya Chelsea she was outside if you do remember I chopped her up off the what was that wall called um, off the what is this called? The Hoya Wall. Yeah. So we chopped her in proper and she's growing. Yeah, we're just gonna give her a white cash pull, of course, to get in here in the match. The decor. Um, right next to it we have one of my massive babies. This one here never made it outside, so this is her home for now. The Lemon Rhyme Maranta. If you don't know me, I have a thing for Calathea Gopergias. I have you want to call it, especially Maranta's prayer plants. Um I <laughs> like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Um, I'm definitely in the market for the white vein, light vein, um, light vein Maranta, but this is the lemon lime, whoa, okay, let it go, there we go, lemon lime Maranta, can we get her in the frame, she's pretty big, I really don't want to touch her, let's see the back side, yeah, um, so yeah, she's growing perfectly fine, see the little straws, that's a big leaf, straws and things, so, she just sits here. This wasn't really supposed to be her spot, <laughs> to be honest with you. However, um, it just ended up being her spot. What I'm doing now is just flipping the leaves back because I moved it from its location. And I want, there we go. 
maximum leaf coverage or light coverage but anyway yeah let me lie on my ranting she's doing good now i try not to do duplicates you guys and if i do have duplicates it's something that i do like and as you can see <laughs> i have a thing for my ranters and you're definitely going to see that all right so we're yeah we're still talking about loose plants all right let's get on down here let's go with this top one up here Let's get up in here. Now this one here is the Black Band Maranto. One of my favorites. Oh, I forgot about this here for you. As you can see, what got me. <laughs> Look at that. Um, this is the Black Band Maranto. We transferred her from a semi-water soil situation, which is why you see a lot of the edges there. But anyway, she's fine. Black Band Maranto, if you don't have one, that should be very affordable now um, I got this from a friend a trade actually and it was just a random trade you guys I was lucky that year very lucky that year Facebook but anyway yeah great plant I love this here plant pattern color way better than the silver band even though the silver band was my first love when it came to not so common Maranta yeah um, but yeah black band Maranta right next to it we have the Lennon Cotton Road aka um, Aretha Franklin, aka <laughs> um, Syngonium. Oh, goodness. I said Aretha. Yeah, Urephila, Ure whatever it is. The name be on the screen, you guys. Uh, if you remember, we did do a lot of chopping and propping of this here girl. The only reason we're trying her again, I mean, we had some problems with this. This plant is way older, way, way older than what it is, and this is the best it's ever looked. Look how big these leaves are. This nice dark foliage, plum, purple, red, whatever on the back. It's gorgeous. She needs another haircut. Thinking about, yep. Oh, those nice areas. Focus. There we go. Nice areas there. Definitely can chop and prop again. I want to fill it out. Um, I only did that because um, I seen David. I'm pretty sure you guys know David Morales. Um, he has a nice huge one. I wish I could just go into a nursery and find one like that. Would I purchase it? Probably would. Um, and if it's trailing, I cut all the trailing parts off and put them in the store and then just use the mother plant to put together with that so it's not crazy to begin with. But she was growing on the wall. I seen David's and then I seen, is it Sean? Of what the Sydney plant, the guy, I forgot his name. Um, his is just massive, and I was like, okay, we're gonna try it again. It used to be on the wall because you know, a plant's on the wall. I got tired of them. I didn't want to get rid of them, but I got tired of, you know, messing with them. So they go on the wall. Anyway, um, but yeah, she's doing perfectly fine. I'll probably give her a haircut maybe right after this, to be honest with you. But a lot of those cuttings, if that video went up, probably didn't, um, did make it except for one, which actually probably would have lived if I <laughs> would have remembered to took it out. Um, it turned into a little node, and then I forgot to take the node to put it in something, and it semi dry back out again. Well, yeah. But right next to that, we have um, the Silver Band Maranta. Now, this one here really makes me want to do semi hydro. Um, this one here is growing in my perlite and vermiculite. Yep, perlite and vermiculite mix. I can fertilize this thing. You see these leaves? I can fertilize this thing how I want to without any issues worry about like the burning of the soil and such and I'm just going to oh yeah so I've been looking for some stratum um, I would probably work with stratum um, over this here mixture however this here mixture works just fine it's just the point of me going oh it's a new leaf a point of me going to get some more vermiculite and perlite but I do want to switch at least one of my black bands, which probably be this one. And I have another massive, semi-massive one out in the cave, if you remember. Growing wild as well. She needs another haircut, which means I can expand that pot. Hmm. And once you get those haircuts, you know, that root system. And oh, it's just going to, oh, big leaves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to get those transferred into this semi hydro situation which means I also um, have to find well no I can technically use my six inch with the Costa um, cash pro as well coach um, as well 
But yeah, Silver Band, Renta, Pretty Plant. You definitely can find these now, I think, like at Home Depot and stuff. Well, Lowe's, I haven't, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Um, right here, you guys, is my Hoya Coriana Super Silver. She's sitting tucked in. I probably need to switch those over. Tucked in with the flow, a waterfall of Syndapsis, which is actually trailing back up. This is one of the top pieces. But anyway, <clears throat> she's growing here. If you remember, we had some hiccups as well. Um, do I need to cut this strand? No, we're going to leave it alone. She's giving someone energy. But um, I noticed... <laughs> look at this. Focus, uh oh. There we go. We got blooms and it's getting bloomier. Come on, find it. Find it. There she is. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I had to try and make sure. Focus. There we go. I had to try to make sure it wasn't because she was dying, even though she, once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time, she was dying. I do love the fact that even though the root system messes up, it really doesn't mess with um, the flow of the, I would say, flowering and of the plant. Kind of compared to like philodendron. Like you mess with root system tragically, then <laughs> good luck trying to mature it a lot quicker. But yeah, I just freaked out when I seen these and I was just sitting over there admiring them. And then I just, my eyes just... I said, is that hanging what I think hanging? And it's getting there, y'all. I'm so happy. Y'all should see the big Kool-Aid smile I got. But hopefully they don't stink. Whatever. Um, but yeah, Horikoryana, Super Silver. She's growing perfectly fine. Uh, what else do we have hanging down here? Um, over here we have some of those pups, corums, yeah, of the Silver Dragon. Silver Dragon? Alakasia, correct. Um, which is right here. We can go ahead and talk about her. Now, a lot of you guys should remember her. Um, because she was the one that gave us this crazy, funky, sport variegated leaf. And I kept her separate from the other ones out there. You'll see a lot of these again. Um, I guess this is a duplicate, but ha, you'll see a lot of these again outside in the palm. But since then, she's grown this leaf. And I think this leaf in the inside which is a lot bigger but we're going to feed these things and we're going to see what's going to go on now these here and a lot of these plants get sprayed down for whatever insect whatever case may be dust and stuff but so i'm not really worried about and worse wood knock on wood um we're pest free uh, at least at the moment <laughs> all right so right next to that she's also in the pot this is joseph aka philodendron jose bueno one of my hardest plants to me to grow um i don't know if it's i don't she's been moved a lot and i do know that my spider from the light works magic because when she was up on the spider from the light sectorial variegation on her um the leaves were a lot bigger and i also i don't know if i was feeding her more i don't know you guys but it grows funky she's fine so i took her from out there the cave um needed more space she was huge. When I say she was huge, again, we grew her up from nothing. This is like, I'd be so proud of myself, y'all. Um, especially when my Google Photos come back and it lets me know, like, hey, you did this a year ago. Or, hey, you did this five years ago. It's, like, freaking wonderful. But, Philodendron, um, Josie, a.k.a. Jose Bueno, right in front of her um, on my little shelves. I made these little stool shelves, you guys, just for this reason. <clears throat> to get a lot of these off the floor nothing with them um nothing wrong with them actually being down on the floor but i uh, would prefer them up so that i can at least look at them without having just to get down nothing wrong with that also uh let's start here this is the and ooh agalima red cyan wonderful plant if you don't have ag agalima you guys get them but also be aware it's like going on a rabbit hole but luckily with me i don't like any you know just any regular agalima it has to be something i don't have um shape wise definitely color wise color wise will definitely get you in um into the collection fairly quick whether well, it's like the the mango i'm trying to look for a nice allocation uh, agalima mango um this is what this, this is not share 
I can't help it. But yeah, red acai, Akalima, nice plant, cost the farm, self watering. She's doing good. Right next to her, we have the Agalima. Is it Lucky Red? Yeah, I think it's the Lucky Red, a little boy, one or the other. Um, we have some issues here. Hopefully, I mean, leaves are still firm. She's growing. Um, you will see that top cutting of her, I think, in the upcoming video. Long story short, you guys, the lights in the beginning came a plummeting. It broke a lot of plants up here. Um, and this here just caught the, the whole end of the just force. It's a lot, but it's okay, and she's growing. Right next to that, we have the Agalima Red Valentine. Wonderful here plant. You give it enough light. This here, um, I see what a lot of people mean when they say, like, the camera does no justice. Outside of this here camera, it is, like, crazy red. Crazy red, especially, like, this here new leaf. Um, one side was given, like, this here pink. I don't know if it's, like, black or like, but who knows? It looked like two new, two different plants in it, and I got it. Um, it, I really wouldn't matter, but I just love the red, and this has more, um, red and green compared to this one, especially once it matures. And again, you will see that one, um, in a few. All right, let's go with, there's another one down here. Won't say too much about it. This is the, oh, not in Ethereum. This is, there we go. Uh, one of my silver band Aransas. Wonderful plant. What, one of three? Yeah, one of three. Um, these things here, again, easy going plants. You give them light um, and you feed them like you're supposed to. They're a good addition to your um, plant collection. But of course, you have to worry about things like spider mites as well. Yes, guys, I do get spider mites. Um, let's go with uh, we have a baby philodendron gloriosum here. She's doing a okay. There's a new leaf back there. As you can see, she's sitting on the taller stool. There's two. Um, this one actually can slide right up under it, but you know, have it like this for those purposes. Right next to it is the mother. She's gorgeous. Um, Philodendron Gloriosum. That is pretty, you guys. Um, but newest leaf is right there. She's also trying to grow fairly slow. Newest leaf is right here. There we go. Fairly slow. Um, but we did have some hiccups, and there's some new growth along the way and she's way older than what she looks down below we will see the philodendron mcdowell now if you watched the first video hopefully you guys are rocking with me and watching it again um i was talking crap because i had to adjust her she decided to grow up and out the pot and my suggestion i was thinking you guys is that maybe they know that there's not enough room for them and the roots to be down and maybe it's trying to move itself somewhere else so it can you know latch out and give itself some more roots but she's getting pretty big you know this is the newest leaf here I'm trying not to do too much but i did have to probably won't be able to see it um get it down in there and then i also changed the direction of the growth because things got a little funky and weird looking once i had to readjust it but philodendron mcdowell growing fairly nice well haven't had too much it issues aside from what I've been doing and I'm trying to get down in here so I can show you guys there we go um, nice size leaves as well but yeah right next to her whoa we have the philodendron squamiferum or squamiferum however you want to pronounce it um, it's a nice plant um, this is one that cost the farm in the bigger pots I found this one I think it was last year maybe possible year before haven't had any issues can we see the pot haven't had any issues there it is um, I did dress the top with a lot of sphagnum moss I took when I do plants like that you guys um, I would definitely leave them in whatever substrate they're in um, but I would take out maybe two or three inches of soil from the top rim and replace it with my dirty sphagnum moss if just in case anything happens, you know, I'm, I'm set or secured at least down to about four inches, um, especially working with soil because sometimes with me it gets a little iffy and I root rot. So that is why a lot of my plants you will see, especially out in the cave, it is in dirty sphagnum 
my dirty spag in the mix but this is the fellow in this crawling ferrum she's doing awesome i do love these here red who don't love those red patios it is like gorgeous it is like freaking gorgeous oh um, there's three plants if i'm not mistaken down in there um i did cut one uh one of the bigger ones and i think i gave it to a friend if i'm not mistaken um, it was a while ago, but we still have some of the original leaves on here as well. But she's doing good. Philodendron Squammy. All right, guys. So now that we've covered all of the loose plants, let's go ahead and attack this here wall. It's just like gorgeous, right? All right, guys. Let's tackle this here wall. All right, let's go from left to right. Now, in this here top corner, we have the Epipremium Neon. Now, if you do remember, she used to be on this hook here in some soil. Um, I just took her out. Whoa. Yeah, we have some dead foliage here. Um, I took her out of the soil. This here, red stem, this is all in the way, right? Um, so now, we're just waiting for her to bounce back. I do feel some firmness, so she's getting there. Um, but you do see some damage from the transfer, which is okay. Um, eventually, I do know that these nodes will activate from the top. But everything here on this wall, you guys, is in, I would say, it's still dirty spag, the moss, but just not as dirty. Um, I did want it to retain a lot more moisture, even though it is um, a grow, some of my grow mats. Um, absorbs water as well but I still wanted them to have some a good enough um, supply of water when the reservoir is not filled now if you're wondering how I water this here wall I have my rain point system here now um, I do have this here down in the description box below go and check them out you guys this is like <laughs> I'm telling you the thing works wonders uh, works on the timer schedule monthly weekly daily hour minute seconds it works wonder however big going to reservoir also has the faucet hookup if you have that type of hookup which i don't which is okay um you get a reservoir my reservoir this is your thing my reservoir is not as big as it needs to be to support the wall so what i do is um when i don't really feel like filling it up um i just get my spray bottle or my spray gun which is down in the description box below. Go and check that out, guys. Thing works again, wonders. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just spray it down and I soak it, which means that I soak this here wall maybe two, three times a week. Uh, we haven't had a full summer yet, so yeah, fingers crossed. All right, so yeah, the top pine up there's Apple Premium. Um, she's gonna bounce back. That next pocket is the Hoya it used to be the Hoya Super Splash but right now it's like the Hoya Coriana Silver um, she's growing as well sorry about that trailing down as you can see um, the next pocket is empty right next to that we have the Hoya Crimson Princess yeah yeah she's growing I might get her out um, since they do look good trailing um, I did see a nice basket of those the round one this is like the long leaf one the round ones to me have more like a sleek look I thought about getting some just to have a trailing Hoya of those but yeah she's growing doing fine um, right next to that we have another Coriana here we go uh, we're gonna do the focus sheesh guys gorgeous well she is fixing to bloom I don't know if this is like the season for them to bloom or not but I'm not mad at it um, I guess it's the Coriana I guess black margin or black is darker than the rest of them you know I would say, but yeah, she's growing as you can see. Flower there. Um, I move this here very close. Um, yeah, see that? She's growing, no problems. Yeah, nice plant. 
All right, next plant we have the Hawarthi. I don't know if it's like the zebra or something. If you guys can see that, yeah, she's massive. She has I don't know how many babies and spikes and things. I stuck it in there towards the beginning. And her and the other succulents or hoyas, the only one that actually made it. If you see an empty pocket, then something was there that didn't make it. Oh, I know it was up there. Those string of hearts, the variegated. You'll see those um, in the cave. And yeah, all right. Next plant we have the syndapsis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silver hero. Ha! There we go. Um, beautiful plant. She's been growing fairly slow compared to the ones outside, which is the mother plant. Um, this here, this one I think was a two or three leaf cutting when I put it in there. You can see the size difference. But yeah, she's growing. What do we have there? Oh, we have the Philodendron Glorious. She's so freaking gorgeous, right? Yeah, she's been chopped and propped a few times. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do have Etsy Shop. Go and check it out. Um, I do still have some of those left in there. If you're looking for any, um, what do we have next to that? In that next pocket, oh, no, this one is a good one. This one is the Philodendron White night yeah that's the one that's passed out the film engine white night if you guys remember um we had the huge one i maxed those leaves out and it started pushing out white leaves now what i love about this one here i might need to um zoom in for you guys what i love about this one um is that there we go gorgeous you see those green spots each leaf has a green Whoa. spot in the middle and I freaking love it so she's been growing and surviving off this here main leaf which again was not variegated but of course over the eye had to been super white for it to keep doing that but yeah alright right next to that one we have some miking cuttings there we go gorgeous um, in the next part our next pocket we have this here philodendron green emerald if you do remember guys we had a massive one that I was growing out in the greenhouse or the cave rather freaking awesome she's out for it now I'm um, actually growing back semi update you guys right next to that we have the monstera stanleyana she's growing um, not much variegation on it simply I'm pretty sure it's because of the lighting has to be but it's okay she's growing you know no issues and right next to that we have a reverted there we go can we get that yeah reverted strawberry shake what next ah yeah down in here probably can barely see that yeah that is a syngonium confetti um this is the philodendron red stem or the florida red stem she's like gorgeous you can tell this here light is sort of bleaching her out but you know what i really don't care because kind of like the neon it adds a little bit more color uh, to the situation but this here side is a lot darker <laughs> than that there side as you can see all right um let's go to this here this here is a syngonium abo um, in the next pocket, what do we have in here? Ah, this is a jade. We have a jade, Syndapsis jade in there that is growing or trying to get its footing, rather. These here pockets, you guys, they were a lot more stable, I would say. Um, I'll let you know that things have been growing happily. I've been covering pots and it makes it a lot harder to figure out what was in it or what's still is in there um next pocket oh this one sheesh here we go this is the upper premium um giant hawaiian pathos or i would just say hawaiian pathos at this point it's not giant you know it was one of the little cuttings that i had from the original mother that i had years ago i decided to keep it and put a little piece in there and then right there 
is another epipermanent neon. If you go down below, we have this here stem of a varicosum. She's wonderful. She's been growing. Um, it's time for another haircut. Um, I cut it down and watch it grow back out again. Um, what do we have next? Ah, oh, we have some albo syngoniums in this here pot, which I could technically chop and prop some more. As you can see there. The next pot, you guys, we have a syndapsis silver lady cutting there. You will definitely see the mother um, in the cave once we get to it. All right, and inside the same pot, we have a pink princess, which gave me this weird pink, not weird, but you know, random pink leaf. Um, it's one of my original pink princess. Now, the only reason I did keep it, again, like these are the plants that I didn't really want to keep growing out in the growth space but I didn't want to get rid of um, and then some of these just look good on the wall and then they were the right size to you know fit in the pockets but yeah I kept it because of the dark foliage it just looks good you know and she just put out that random pink leaf and just kept well and the rest of them they have some little spotches of pink here and there um, the next pocket we have an epa Primum Silver Streak, which is growing all the way up there. Now those do look good when they're mature, the leaves are long, and it's like more um, silver, especially when you give them way more light. I'm going to have them scattered throughout as well. Let's see. The next pocket we have a Silver Splash. Syndapses look like cuttings. Um, a lot of these here were like random cuttings that I didn't feel like throwing away. But I knew I could put them on the wall to let them grow. Um, the next pocket is the red stem philodendron. Did I say this one already? I think so. Yeah, there are two. Yep, it's two. Over here, but yeah, she's growing perfectly nice. Let's see. Go down. There's an empty pocket there. Um what else do we see you guys over here this is the philodendron bipen golden which is growing wonderfully you'll see the base in the second um this pot here you guys is an og the syndap ooh, ah, syngonium confetti growing fairly nicely um took her a while also to adjust these are some of the original leaves she was getting neglected and I didn't want to get rid of her, so I figured I'd put it on the wall. Yeah. All right, right next to that, we have the Philodendron Billy. Growing fairly nice. I do love it. It did put out a leaf here. Um, I lost one due to underwatering, and there's a new one coming in right there. I really can't wait till it starts to mature out. All right, what else do we have down in here? All right, we also have, like you should remember me putting some Syngonium elbows. There we go, in here. Um, they're growing just fine. Putting off shoots, all oh, that, there we go. Something like that, there we go. Um, right next to her, we have, uh, this is another, was this the top cutting? Yeah, this was the top cutting of one of those there. This is the philodendron red stem, Florida. Right next to that, we have a cutting of a raffer de four touch of sperma, one of my originals, and she's growing. Um, this is another philodendron bipen, golden bipen. I don't know if this is a mother or just a cutting. Um, she's growing just fine. Um, we have a triple eye moonlight in here. There's my Cebu Blue. Um, she's still trying to get her footing, y'all, to be honest with you, but she's hanging in there. Um, we have some Argerius, which you'll definitely see syndapses throughout the board. If you guys remember, let me know down in the comment section if you remember my Silver Sword, how awesome it looked once upon a time. 
I'm still trying to find one of those cost of farm big ones in the stores. One day I'll look up and find a big one, but till then she's gonna sit there and even if I find one, you know, she's just gonna sit there um, live her life out on the board. Um, that is, this here is the base cutting. Now this is the top cutting. Oh, okay, that's the base that you see on you know, the bop in. This is the top cutting, as you can see, growing that we've seen up top. I keep forgetting that these here plants have been up here for a while. They grow up, uh, up this here board, and yeah, it gets a little lost after that point. Anyway, um, we have a philodendron burr marks here, which is growing. Um, it took a while also to get a footing as well. We did chop her, chop her down some. I might need to take it all the way down and prop them out. And since those are very hardy, I might try to fill them throughout as well. Right below that, as you can see, this is the philodendron white wizard base cutting. Yeah, base cutting. I mean, that thing is thick. I cut it. Um, but yeah, she grew back. Better variegation pattern. Um, <laughs> let me know if you remember. If you're watching this a second go around, let me know if you remember what happened there. <laughs> um, right, <laughs> right next to it. Let's just go ahead and attack this here. Fill it into red emerald. If you remember, this one here was out in the growth space. It got big and it was one of the ones we chose when we put this wall together to make it one of the centerpieces and she's been growing ever since now i did lose some bottom leaves but that was before i got these here two stand barinas which will be in the description box below but um yeah you can see her growing up since then uh, we did do a chop because she got to the top of the board way top of the board um, we sold some cuttings. I think Ryan got them, not mistaken, but uh, one of the new leaves, there's a new spike there, and then also there's a new leaf coming in there as well. Um, so she has branched out. Um, right next to that, you guys, we have the philodendron um, burrow marks variegated. <laughs> Mine went blank. She's doing good. I'm thinking about taking some cuttings to put in the shop. Um, let me know if you're interested in some of the cuttings. Um, we can cut this up and um, spread it throughout the wall as well and also put some in the shop because this thing is oh this thing is growing y'all you see that gorgeous variegation yeah she's gorgeous all right next to that this is my reverted um, philodendron white ghost yeah it matured a lot you guys it only had a few seconds of white ghost and it just stopped but um, I kept it because it kept growing and I liked it remember she used to sit next to the door up there um, this is the white wizard yeah philodendron white wizard not as much variegation on her um, she spazzed out on us as well but I can say the cuttings that I did sell um, ended up being some way better better <laughs> variegation than what it's giving right now but this is her and this is she um, doing awesome below that we have one of the main leaves I don't know if you can see that but she was huge of my white wizard um, cutting props that I didn't really want to get rid of so yeah we put her in the wall and she's actually been stable for the longest there um, we have some Argerius cuttings as well um, what else do we have over here? Did we miss anything? Guys, I think that is it. I went through that. Yeah, probably because I did it already. Um, I also, there's some more right for the four touch of sperm right there. Yeah, we went through everything. I went through that. Uh, we have some more cuttings of Cebu Blues and things going down there. But those are duplicates. But we've covered everything, you guys. Yeah, we are through. I did that. Yeah. Alright, let's end this here video. Well, that is everything you guys in here. You guys, another overview. There we go. I want to check this here out. So, on a daily, this is what, um, when I come in here, this is what I see.
I'm going to check on, like I said, my plants and things. I might turn the game on and play the game for a little while. And But yeah. And this is the north facing window. It's, that light is like horrible. Yeah. And that's stuff for the shop, you guys. Um, check out my Etsy shop. Um, some of those cuttings and things are... Or plants, rather. I'm still on the shop. But yeah, let's go ahead and end this video. Isn't that freaking gorgeous? Alright guys, that is it here for today's video. Please do my favor with that like button if you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you're here from... <laughs> if this is your second go around with me. If so, thank you. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, a lot of things that I do use here over on the channel will be in the description box below. Go and check them out. Some of those do come with discount code. See if you look cool and check out as well. Um, if you like to support the channel, you guys, have super thanks down there. Just follow the instructions, not subscription related. Two dollars, four dollars, five dollars, twelve million. It doesn't matter. Um, whatever you give is also thankful. Just watching the channel works as well. To you guys, and make sure you hit the like button. Also, comment down below. Give us a little bit more wheat straws in the family. You feel me? Um, I think that is it. Yep. Did we cover everything? Yep. That's it. Um, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.